Hi, I'm Lucy, and this is one of my best friends, Maiken, and we met online. So I have an online friend, and I thought it'd be a good idea to kind of share my story, um, because this is such a common thing now, and I think it'd be a good idea to kind of let people know that these online friendships can work out really well. So you often hear like an older generation compare them to like a pen pal. It's not something that everybody is totally familiar with and people tend to have very different opinions on whether that the friends or the relationships that you have through the internet are actually, you know, real. So I met Maiken on Instagram. I was watching a live stream and there was a few people talking in the comments and one of the girls said, why don't we make a group chat? We kind of talked pretty much every day. We got to know each other and six of us formed this really good friendship. You know, that was in December and then in February, Maiken said that she wanted to come to England so that we could meet in person, which I thought was really, really cool. So while she was here, we had a great few days. I kind of showed around everywhere I live, showed around Newcastle. It was really nice to talk to her, you know, in person without having to wait for a response through like Snapchat or something like that. So I had a good experience, but obviously there are plenty of cases where people don't. Some red flags to kind of look out for is if people don't really have any other social media presence, um, or if they, maybe like you're asking if you can FaceTime and they keep making excuses to say that they can't. I think these are things that, you know, you should kind of pick up on and say, oh, maybe this isn't completely safe. Even though you do need to take these extra steps, I definitely feel like it's worth it. I'm going over to Sweden in the summer to meet Mike and again and to meet a family. So I've done a couple of interviews. I've done a few with people who have had experiences with online friendships or relationships. I've done an interview with Maiken to get her side of the story and I've done an interview with my mum and dad. Something else that I decided to do was get some feedback from Twitter. So a few people who had online friends said that they all had really good experiences. They thought it was really easy to talk to people through the internet. But the people who were in relationships with people who they'd met through the internet definitely had opposite opinions. They said that if you're going to get in a relationship with somebody and kind of make that commitment, it's a really good idea to meet them at least once or twice to kind of know what kind of person they are, which again can be so difficult to do if you live in different countries. I'm Lorna and I'm 19 years old. My name is Joshua Robinson, I'm 19 years old. Hi, I am Maiken, I'm from Sweden, I'm 18 years old. I'm very experienced. Uh, since a really young age, I've always had friends who are specifically from America, and um, I've always had a lot of people from different from different countries growing up. I've made quite a few friends online. Being a very antisocial preteen and teenager growing up, I've always just found more comfort in like talking to people online, and it was just easy to find people with like common interests. A lot of my friends, a lot of people um, in my life who have been influential to me, have been online. But I think people should definitely. Uh, to talk to people online and meet new people, uh, just be careful and just be cautious. If you're like totally sure, I'd say go for it because I've met a lot of friends from online. They've always ended up being who I thought they were. I think it's a cool thing. Like it's an extension of like the world just becomes so much smaller um, because you're not necessarily born in like a place where you relate to everyone. And it's also really like helpful to see that we were just like at first like 10 maybe random people who just met and we just managed to kind of like create this group um and we're from completely different places and mm. the only thing we have in common is that we can like understand each other through the same language um and we share like a lot of experiences um even though we've like been completely isolated from each other uh, for like the first 16 or 17 years um, of all of our lives which is yeah. really cool as long as they get all the information, as long yeah. as they FaceTime them, yeah. they can actually see them talking. No, I think every parent should be vigilant, you know, from uh, those Definitely. internet friends and mm -hmm. things like that, because bad things can happen to anybody. But in your case, I think in your case, everything out of come out really good. A lot of people are actually struggle to make real friends in their real life. Mm -hmm. And I think for somebody, this could be the step forward for them. It's good. Because sometimes it's easier to talk to those strangers or those who become friends than to talk your to parents. your parents. You've got a friend for life and yeah. thank you. Making the world a little bit smaller. 